Wendy here from Lolly Dolly Crafts. Um, so I've come to you today. I've moved my uh, position of my camera so it's lower. So hopefully you can the um, you can hear me better. Um, I tried doing with my other camera with a clip-on mic, but for some reason it wasn't working. But I think I accidentally left the mic battery on, and that's why it's not working. So, so what I've decided to do today, I've got one of these boxes. Now this box, um, I'm in a the uh, Craft Box UK um, monthly club, and you get a kit. Okay, I'll leave the link below down to that. So they and they come in these absolutely fab boxes. They're always all different colours. Um, I've had black ones. What colours have I had? I've had black ones, yellow ones, um, all sort of like a um, like a, a grey grey sort of colour. But yeah, they come in different colours. Red one, I think I got a red. I got a red one. I don't know. Anyway, so but I'm going to use a white one today because it sort of makes my work a little bit easier. Now. Um, as mean, it means I don't have to paint it. So I'm going to the papers I'm going to use are these absolutely gorgeous uh, Forget Me Not by Lemon Craft. Okay, and I absolutely love, 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 love these papers. They are absolutely stunning. They are one of my favourite. This line and um, Heartfelt Creations are one of my favourites uh, as far as you know the the colour palettes they use. So I'm going to use this. Okay. Love lemon craft. And that's the back one. I've got some more here. These are all lemon craft. Okay, absolutely beautiful. So as you can see, I'm going for and by some of the bits that I've got around me. I'm going for sort of like this um, blue th sort of theme, which is like a teal blue, which is what my living room colour is. So um, that's what I'm going to do today. Um, yeah, it also comes with this really gorgeous, uh, so you can cut the butterflies out, which I think I'm going to do, and I'm going to try and gloss, glossy accents them, and, and you know, try and zhuzh them up a bit. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to do that. And what else? What other papers here? So, yeah, you've seen that one. That one. Script. And some more script. I think this is just a, a repeat of some of the colours. So yes, so that's what I'm going to do. So I think I'm going to do a combination, I think, between the, this sort of colour and the teal blue, uh, me thinkies. So um, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut all the side panels and everything, and I'm going to do that um, sped up with no me not talking, because um, that's, it, you can watch it, I won't speed it up too fast, but it, it'll just mean it's, you know, and then when I'm actually doing the decorating bit, which is the best bit, I will do that like in real life mode. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. So. Right, okay, so here we go. Um, what I'm doing right here is just uh, measuring up and uh, cutting the papers, um, the lemon craft papers to go on. These ones are going on the side of my box and um, I'm just measuring them, making sure that they fit okay. Um, giving it a little trim up because it was a little bit too big. Um, I've decided to do this as a, a voiceover. I've never done it before. Um, we'll see how it goes. I think it's a, just want to make sure that you guys can hear what I'm saying. Um, I think it has helped the fact that I've moved my camera down a bit. So, uh, yeah, but I just thought I'd give this a voiceover. Okay. So, um, I'm just, this is the uh, different, uh, this is paper, this is going on the, where is this one going, on the back, this one's going on the back and that, back and the top. Um, I love that this, um, these papers have got sort of like a, uh, a beige, um, well not, a sort of a creamy that goes with the, uh, sort of teal, um, so pretty and they all, and they all go so well together, um, in this collection. It's one of my favourite. I do love lemon craft. So yeah, now this is going on the front of the box. Um, I'm just measuring it up. Um, I don't tend to use a ruler to measure. I just either do it by eye or just do like what I just did. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm just continuing now to uh, measure up. I love this script. 
um, it, they do it in a the script on the other side of that paper is um, the opposite to what that side is. So the other side is sort of like the cream with the blue of the script. It's so pretty. Um, I don't know what I've gone off to do now. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, there we go. Oh, I went to get another sheet of paper because um, I didn't have a big enough piece to uh, do the top of the inside. Yeah, that's what I did. I went to get another piece of paper. Yeah, yeah I'm just uh, that's, so that's the other side of the paper. It's lovely. Um, so pretty. I love um, altering boxes. It's one of my favourite things to do. And that box I got from uh, the uh, um, it's like a kit club for um, Craft Box UK, and uh, it's a U obviously it's a UK um, kit, and you get it once a month. And it with postage, it's just uh, uh, about twenty pounds, I think. And you get um, a nice box full of goodies, and the boxes are lovely quality boxes, like you can see here. And sometimes they come in different colours. So yeah. So I'm just using this white one because it um it meant it saved me the job of having to paint the box because I wanted it obviously to match the paper um you know give it a light sort of colour. Um, That's the only problem when you're um you're cutting from different pieces of papers, you know, trying to find um sort of matching papers that are uh, you know, you can do both ends and I think um here that's what I was uh trying to find pieces of without having to cut another April sheet up, find pieces of paper that uh, I could uh, do the inside edges. Mm. Trying to think of something to say while I'm, uh, uh, I think I'm off trying to find, yeah, I was, I was off trying to find some uh, uh, paper that I'd already cut up the inside. I didn't really want to have to cut another A4, A4, 12 by 12 piece of paper for the inside. Um, yeah, I think I found a piece here. So yeah, I won't do that. So I hope you're all having a, a fab time. Um, and, uh, and this this is um, going to be a, like a, a tea caddy uh, to you know like you get little sachets of tea uh, sachets so it's to store them in in the little packets um, over uh, uh, just add glue ribbons and lace which is Michelle Pipkin and uh, I'm the admin of that group so uh, yeah that, that's what our theme is for this month uh, of June is tea time so yeah so I thought right I'm going to do a tea time box. I'm just finishing off doing the bottom. Now that piece was a little bit too uh, small, but I decided because I'm going to add some trim in the middle that it wouldn't make any difference. So the glue I'm using here is a uh, horrible PVA glue, um, and it was just what I had. I don't like using PVA because it does tend to make your paper too um, wet, and it can sort of bubble, bubble up a bit. So. Um, and I'm just uh, using the uh, Prima distressing tool here just to distress sort of like the edges. I have got um, the Zutter distressor, which I really need to use because this is hard on my arthritic fingers. <laughs> so yeah, so I think I'm going to get my, uh, considering it is quite expensive, but I do need to use it more to save so much time. And it does actually do a really good job. So I'll have to sh uh, do a video on it sometime. I think I have been asked before, but I'm such a awful fibro brain. So yeah, just distressing around, not heavily, just you know, giving it a, taking it, you know, giving it a little bit of a distressed look on the outside. I'm not going to ink it because I want it to have a, although I want it to have a little bit of a distressed look, I want it to have a, a clean distressed look, if you know what I mean. So I'm just going there. All the way around. I didn't um, distress the inside uh, papers because I was going to add trim to them, so there was no point distressing them because you'd um, you wouldn't see it anyway, so there wasn't any point. So 
No, I did start off doing this with my fingers and it was just totally not working. So in the end I decided, uh, you'll see in a minute, I'll get a paintbrush, uh, a brush and just put it on with a brush. Because um, I thought I'm just getting it everywhere. It just wasn't working for me but I just sort of went with it. And then I just used um, a... Um, I can't even think what you call it, just like a little... Uh, from my um, scrap it or um, just to push it down, uh, if you can see the little tool there next to the uh, primer distressing tool. And here I am just doing the um, it with a brush, and then I just it was so much easier. And I was also doing it on that blue mat as well, which is off my um one of my uh, uh I can't even think what it's called, but yeah, I I moved it in the end because I was getting it it was just harder to clean off the glue bits which didn't want to get underneath the paper, so I ended up get shoving it out of the way. And just press and make sure there's no air bubbles under the paper. Yeah, I think this is where I do. I've moved the yeah, area. I'm going to move the mat, I think. No. Yep, there we go. <laughs> so, just spreading that glue all over. Yeah. I have got, um, I'm going to do a video because I've got a really cool announcement of a new DT that I'm um, on, which is uh, to do with glue and lots of other goodies. So, I'm going to do a video review um, on that. and. Uh, yeah, it's really cool. So I'll, I'll tell you all about that in a different video. So I'm just putting the, um, make sure there's no air bubbles, like I said. And make sure it's all flat and all stuck down, all to the edges. Don't want it curling up. Just pressing it down. Anything with the uh, PVA glue you've got, because it does make the paper um, quite a bit wet. You don't get it too much because under the, and I did do that in a couple of places. Just, uh, ended up taking some of the paper off, but it didn't really matter because uh, it was, I could cover it up with the uh, goodies and embellishments. So that was cool. So I'm just adding the, the onto the front of the box, and then once I've done that, I will go and start doing the inside of the box. Get rid of all the excess glue so I don't. Get it on the box. There we go. So I'm just doing the, uh, the inside now. Um, these boxes are really, really well made. They're really good quality. And they've got ma magnetic um, closures on the front already there, so I don't even have to, you know, figure out some sort of closure because it's all they're already there. <coughs> Excuse me. But hopefully, with me doing the voice, so I don't say um so much. <laughs> I haven't noticed <laughs> whether I do or not. So funny. Yeah, it's really hard sometimes to try and sort of like you know please everybody when you're doing filming. Um, oh, there I just said um, yeah, please everybody when you're filming because um, you know you just sort of I want people to hear what I'm saying and making sure that. I'm in camera, so I've lowered my camera down, um, so you can, uh, I'm more, you know, I'm not moving, so, moving what I'm doing away from the uh, camera, because sometimes I get so engrossed in what I'm doing, uh, I don't realise that I'm actually off camera, so I've tried to make sure with the angle that I've moved the camera to, that, um, uh, I think a couple of times I might be a little bit out, uh, not too bad. Hopefully, it's not too bad. So, yeah. I'll just clean my desk again, carrying on doing the inside. I have to keep wiping the glue off my desk, otherwise, like I said, the paper gets stuck to it and it just rips. <laughs> yeah. 
And as I'm doing this voiceover, somebody's decided to do some drilling outside my window. It's always a way, but never mind. <laughs> Everyone's had strict orders not to disturb me while I'm doing the voiceover. <laughs> no. Bless them. So yeah, we're doing uh, absolutely amazing over in our uh, Facebook group, Just Add Glue. Uh, doing really well. So like I said, the theme this month is tea time. And uh, we've got a lot of um, approved sellers, well not a lot, we've got a select few of approved sellers that do kits for us. Um, Fiona Jennings, she does kits for the uh, group. Uh, um, Amy Garcia, she does kits for the group. Annette James does kits for the group. Um, oh, there's, there's some other ladies and I can't pronounce their names and I can't remember all the names, so I do apologise to you ladies. But just pop along to the group, you know, just join up. It's just add glue with ribbon, roses and lace, and uh, yeah, come and join in the fun, show us your uh, projects. The only thing um, we don't allow is uh, selling within the group unless you're, you are approved seller or links to other groups, only because it's out of respect to obviously our approved sellers, it's not, you know, because predominantly the group is not a uh, selling group, it's a, a group for you know, showing your makes and getting inspiration off of each other, but as part of the group, we do have a select um, group of approved sellers, um, which you know have to apply to uh, um, be a, a seller. Um, so yeah, and that's the only. Otherwise, the group then becomes a selling group, and we don't want that. You know, we want to see your crafty creation. So here I am. I'm just adding uh, with hot glue around the perimeter of the box. And I'm using some uh, Chinese braid in white, and it's a, a smaller one. It's not a big, big one. So I had to make sure that it didn't interfere as I added it across the top. Um, it didn't interfere with it, the box closing. Uh, I'm just trimming it, up and I'm just adding it to the inside corners as well now. It just finishes the box box up nicely. I'm um, I love I love doing product, but I I also like to um you know finish off so it looks um tidy and you know there's no sort of like raw edges or untidy edges of paper so yeah i do on that trim and like i said that bottom piece of paper was uh just a little bit too small but it didn't make any difference because i added some of that braid along each side which so you wouldn't know that it was just a little bit tiny and that way it saved me you know, cutting up another 12 by 12 piece of paper. Um, if you're anything like me, I've got a you know a box or two <laughs> of um, off cuts of paper that uh, I keep meaning to sort of like you know go through and just do loads of die cuts with them just to sort of have them ready, but that's quite time consuming and uh, yeah, it's just you know one of those things. I'm not very good um, at throwing away you know scraps of paper. I tend to sort of keep hold of them, <laughs> just in case. I'm a just in case person. Uh, keep that just in case. Mm. I would definitely think I'm probably um, on the verge of being, um, uh, you know, a participate participant in the hoarder program. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was a bang on the floor. My son dropped something. Uh, I don't know if you heard it. This weather's horrible here at the moment. It's uh, really overcast. If we die, I want the sun. I always uh, do better when it's sunny. Uh, I'm taking vitamin D, but it doesn't. I don't know. I think I need to take a bigger dose. <laughs> um, I definitely think I suffer from that. Was it sad FAD or something? I, can't, I don't know what it actually spells out, but yeah, I definitely do better in the summertime. Uh, yeah, it's a bit overcast. So I'm just finishing off adding bits to the inside of the box. It's really fiddly, so there we go. It's really fiddly for you guys to see what I'm doing because I'm doing it inside the box. So it's uh, so I'm just getting some um, little blue ribbons to go in the corner of the box. Now these were I got from a kit from Fiona Jennings, which is. Uh, Jen, Jenny's Crafts Boutique um, shop. Bought a kit 
of Fiona. I love Fiona's kit. You know, just absolutely full jam pack. I love, love, love them. Uh, I love just sitting there and, you know, just opening the parcels. Right, so now, yes, I'm all finished. The bows are done. Okay, so the inside's all pretty. And what I'm going to do now is some masking uh, with a um, that honeycomb template, and that's from Dabadoo. The uh, template is, and the um, modeling paste I'm using is the uh, one I made myself out of talcum powder. And uh, you can, I have got a video, and I'll link it up in the corner to uh, how I make modeling paste. It's it's lovely. It's absolutely perfect consistency, and it uh, just goes on so nice. Uh, I love uh, doing using templates on projects. I just love it. So cool. Just adds such a different dimension and texture to whatever you're doing. I, I would have plastered the whole thing if I could. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, I don't want to do overkill. I'm just drying it with my heat gun. I thought I chopped that bit out, but obviously I didn't. <laughs> That's cool. And I'm just masking the front as well. It doesn't take long to dry, it's uh, quite quick. And then on the sides, I decided to use this is a Prima uh, template, and uh, it's sort of like a brick effect, like an old fashioned brick effect. It was a bit awkward to do that one because um, of the, the sides of the box were a little bit raised, but um, I did still manage to do it. I think I've got a funny feeling because I just ordered some more templates and I think I've ordered that one twice. Uh, yeah. I tend to do that a lot. I will order something and think, oh, you know, oh, I like that. I'm not realising that um, I've already bought it. Uh, yeah. So I tend to, when I'm stenciling, I, I'll put the paste on and then um, sort of scrape it back off again. So that way I don't end up with like big the other that one didn't go on as well as the other one did but because it was on paper I wasn't going to take it off because it would have just probably pulled the paper with it so the box is all dried now so I'm just um, going to add this teal lace and I'm just trying to figure out which was the right side and uh, what lace I wanted to go over the top and that lace uh, the teal lace I got from Fiona's shop Jenny's craft boutique I get I mostly get all my laces it's not very rarely I'll get my laces from anywhere else. Um, so I'm just putting a little bit on there because obviously because it's on like a chawl, a fine chawl embroidered uh, trim, I didn't want to burn my fingers, which is what I normally do. So I'm just trimming off the access with the bits I don't need. And then I was just deciding uh, if, if that was the uh, piece of lace I wanted, which it was. I'm just uh, adding that. That was just an oddment I had. Uh, just doing the edges down there. Tidying it up. Very pretty. Having some hot glue to the underneath of those uh, scalloped edges so it all sits nice and tidy. So now I'm just going to add that scalloped lace to the front of the box. 
sorry, question. And again, uh, just making sure that the lid. Um, and then I'm just using this. Uh, I was gonna. I did change my mind actually because um, I wasn't sure where I was gonna. I wanted some of those Zanglu's crystals on there, but I wasn't sure where I wanted to put them. And in the end, I settled on the front the, uh, for that the shorter um, little crystal dangle. Um, and these ones I got, I think, from Denelm, and the other ones um, I got from Fiona. Beautiful. So I'm just trying to figure out getting some flowers. Um, I'm sort of going for the teal and sort of lemon look. So now I'm just uh, I've got that um, little cut out piece there, the, the um, doily piece, and I'm just using some snow text on there to give it a bit of texture and to you know give it a bit of more of a white sort of look. Yeah. And I'm just tying some uh, teal string into a circle. Drag to the top of my box. I was trying to tie the knot, but I was getting all tangled up. So it took me to <laughs> try to figure out. So there we go. So I finally got it in the end. Uh, um, I did cut a piece out here because I did add some um, blue um, prima inks to the top of the yellow flowers and yellow prima inks to the top of the blue flowers and added some glitter but I didn't like how it, you can see the two, the blue and the yellow ink is there but, and I didn't like how they turned out so I scrapped them. Um, I'll save them for something else but I just didn't, it just didn't go with, it just didn't look right, it just looked too messy. So I decided not to use them in the end. So I went for um, just, the, just the flowers without any glitter on them. They were, it was not coloured glitter, it was blue glitter and yellow glitter and it just didn't look, didn't look right. So yeah, so I was just placing them just to sort of see how I wanted the uh, flowers to go. So just adding that little piece of stone. And then I'm just sort of arranging a cluster of flowers on the lid of the box. And uh, some sort of teal and lemon sort of coloured flowers. A little blue and yellow daisy. So the flowers all, you know, complement each other. So I'm just cutting this um, doily piece up because I wanted it to fit it around. Um, I didn't want to put it under the flowers because it, it would have raised them up a little bit so I, I just sort of trimmed it down and added it like that. And it I also meant that I could use the other pieces on the side of the box which you'll see me do in a minute. So yeah. I'm just adding these little uh, dewdrops. I'm not sure what they're called but I'm just adding them to the top of the box. Very pretty. Yeah. I've gone off to uh, get some more flowers, I think. So I'm just adding these uh, little blue uh, glittery, they're like little um, seed pods, but they're in teal and they've got like uh, little bits of glitter on them, so they were really pretty. So I'm loving how that cluster turned out. So I'm very happy. And then I just added some of this um, drop trim, pearl drop trim, just to uh, finish off that edge of the box. There we go. I'll just check in to make sure it all fitted. And, uh, opened and closed. So these are um, 
metal white metal corner pieces so I added them to each side of the box. I thought they were quite pretty. I did think about adding them to the top, I thought they looked better on the side. And then these are some a little, like little lemon drop uh, lemon drop lemon craft um little badges. They're not they're not actual badges, they they are they got sticky on the back but they're like the top of them is like a badge and this one had a little butterfly on it. Um so uh, yeah. That. And I'm just adding some little crystal gems, just randomly around. They are sticky on the back, but I always add a little bit of hot glue because uh, I, I never trust that they're going to come off. I'm just putting a, a um, butterfly applique there, and then some uh, pearl trim down the middle of the butterfly. There we go. I wanted to finish off the top of that, but um, I don't think I actually did in the end. And so I'm just adding that, like a little draw handle now, which also came in one of my uh, craft box UK boxes. Little uh, pull handles. I was going to put them on the actual on the sides of the box, one each side, but I decided to put it on the front in the end. So I just added a little uh, white metal piece there that I cut up and just added a like a half metal flower it was. Yeah, I, I did get that little as a wood piece, a honeycomb piece, and I was gonna add that but I just thought that no, too much. So I added um a little teal stick pin. And now I'm just adding some flowers to the side of the box. Um, I was going to put a little pearl inside the uh, those little blue flowers, but it, it just stuck up too much, so I decided to use the um, crystal gems that I used on the top of the box instead. I'm just cutting up what was left of that other doily and uh, adding that to the sides of the box with just a small cluster of flowers. And I did the same for the other side as well. <coughs> so pretty. I love flowers. It's so cool. Um, Fiona uh, Jennings has, uh, has uh, ordered some uh, flowers of her own uh, to add to the shop. Can't wait for them to arrive. I'm definitely getting my flowers from here as well, and as well as lace. So yeah, so I'm just uh, finished off the sides of the box. I'm doing one side, and I'm just doing the other side. They don't. I didn't do them so they were exact, exactly, exactly the same. But you know, I just sort of. Did you know pretty much the same amount of flowers on each side? Just to, I'm a bit of a balanced person. I'm not very good at threes. I work in two of two or four of four <laughs> when I'm doing something. So I'm just deciding what to do with the front of the box now. Um, I'm also adding a um, a little uh, clock piece, metal clock piece that I got from my craft box, and I'm just put the I've just put the little um handles on the front as well and, you, and there you can see there right at the front of the box there's a little bit of paper that had uh, come off which really annoyed me so I decided oh, I'll just stick some flowers over it and sort of continue the cluster I did as if it was flowing down the front of the box and it, it worked quite well so I was quite happy in the end that uh, how it turned out See, it's good. You can always cover a mistake up with a flower. Um, on the inside lid, I, ha I also had another little piece of paper that had uh, been rubbed off. So uh, um, I just added a, a cut out. And, uh, tag to go in the inside of the box. And I've just added some lemon seam binding. There, there's. I'm just thinking of what I can do to cover the inside of the box. That little rip piece at the top. Of the box, and in the end, what I decided to do 
is like I said, cut a tag out. And I'm just adding some of the snow text just to the top of the, just to shabby it up a little bit. And I add it to the clock and to the tops of the flowers and that, and just randomly all over on the sides and. Uh, I love this stuff, it's brilliant, it's great. 